Okay guys, we're at a school today. And uh, I just came upon my first find and it seems to be some sort of lock, looks like. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but uh, some sort of little padlock. Looks like there's something on it. I see a wing and a letter. Looks like C or something like that. Let's see if there's anything on this side. Nope, don't see anything on this side. I'll look at this later, but there's something on there. Yeah, there we go. There's some wings right there with a letter, maybe B. It's like an eagle or something on there. Hmm, I'll look at this later. That's kind of cool. Nothing too crazy, but neat little lock. All right. All right, guys. I'm just in this little spot here, this little patch of woods uh, off the field. And I came up with two coins. Came up with a wheat. I think it's a 50 something, but that's a wheat. And in the same place, a little spill. Look at that, a rosy dime. Is that a rosy? Yeah, that is definitely a rosy silver dime. Look at that. In the same hole, only four inches down. Uh, 57? I think it's a 57. I'll take that. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, I'm out in this field. We moved from the school area to a, an old field. Just came up with a really small button. I have to recheck the hole because that this sounded too nice. But it definitely is a small little button. Cindy's coming over to me. She's way down there. You see her coming at me. So if she's got something good, I'll be right back on. Stay with us. All right, Cindy did find something. She found a little buckle out in the middle of the field. I did. Small buckle. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. It's not down solid, there. is it? It's down there about eight inches. That's weird. It's a weird little buckle. All right, guys, on the board today with a copper already. This one came up weird. It had a big rock over it. Maybe that's why, but I think this one might be preserved a little bit better than most of these that we find here. Although I might regret those words. Pretty smooth. I don't see anything yet. Ah, uh, copper, Sen. Yay! Yeah. Come up weird. It was under a big rock. I don't know yet. Can't see anything on it. Could be a King George the way it looks. Uh, yeah, it's thinner, so I would. Uh, yeah, I would. You would think it'd be a King George. It right? could. Yeah, it could be. I mean, sometimes they trick us out here, but I don't see anything on it yet. It's not corroded. It's just smooth. It's not corroded that that badly, but it is smooth. It is smooth. Yeah, I haven't seen anything on it oh, yet. Oh, man. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yep. Good find. Yeah, it's it's a, you know. Yay. Hey, it's got a dent in it here. Maybe I'll figure it out as time goes by here. Yeah, maybe you know. when it dries up. Yeah. At least it's not cr really badly corroded. It's got some corrosion on it, but it's not real bad. Um... If they're really bad, then it's almost impossible. I see some stuff there, but I don't know if that's from that dent. 
I created it. No, I still don't see anything that jumps out at me. So far, you win the gold today. So uh, no gold. Okay. It's <laughs> All right. Fine so far. Good. Yeah. No, I did find that little silver. All right. We'll keep looking. Absolutely. All right. Boom. All right, here's a good relic. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I think this might be part of a tie-off uh, that would go on maybe a cart or a buggy. Not sure, I do think it is some horse tack though. Pretty cool, all right, I'll take that one. Well, I'm going down to Cindy. She's got what I think is a wheat, according to our special metal detecting Morse code that we use, sign language. Here she comes. What did you, what did you get? What was the sign? Weedy. W. Real original. Weedy girl comes through. <laughs> got a wheat. Nice. In Nin the middle of this field. I this know. field is huge. Anyway, uh, what, what year is it? 1956, I think. 50, 50 something, okay. 54, maybe, I don't know. It's all right. It's a weedy. It's good. Is there any weed on the back? Somewhere in there. Yeah. All righty. Weedy girl. Good job. Good job, weedy girl. Good job. I'd rather job. be silver queen. Yeah. Okay, guys, I did get another coin, and uh, this time it's a wheat. Came up funny, but it was solid, so I'm digging it on old ground here, and uh, it definitely is a, a wheat scent. And this is from, I believe, the 50s as well, which is a great sign that we could see some uh, some silver in here. Uh, we've never been on this end of this field. Uh, the other end of this was really old stuff. Um, we're finding a little bit more recent stuff here, but hopefully maybe we'll find some silver here. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, guys. Well, we were just talking about silver, and sure enough, I find another one today. The other one I found earlier was a was a uh, a Roosevelt, and this one, ooh, is a Merck. It looks like 1930-ish, maybe a 37. I'm not sure, 34 or 37. Eh, come on. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Merc Dime in this field. Awesome. I'm not even going to tell Cindy. She's way far away from me, so I'm not going to bother her. Uh, I'm hoping she pulls something out. That's a nice one. Oh, I like that. All right, guys, let's keep going. All right, guys, well, I just had a target. I did not expect this to be a copper, but indeed it is. Another mysterious copper. And there you go, another copper that I cannot identify, at least not yet. That there looks like a that looks like Britannia right there at the top you see her head and over here her hand is out her arm sticks out with her hand right there yeah that's I'm pretty sure that's what that is very very sure that's usually one of the signs on these that you can tell is when you see her head up top like that 
and her hand you can see her shoulders just on top of my the tip of my thumb there you can see at the very top you can see her head so if I flipped it that should be the bus side let's see what we got hopefully I get something off this it's a kg probably a kg too Yeah, maybe you got to look beyond the corrosion on these things now if you look at the screen the green is corrosion but you can see on the right side and going up there's a dark line a silhouette and that is King George and he's looking to the left they can just barely see his nose tip there so up here there would be a two in this right corner don't quite see it. Yeah, I do kind of see it. It's very, very faint, but I do see where it would be. So, all right. I don't think we'll get a date off this, but I'll try later and clean this up a little bit and see if we can get something off of it. All right, guys. Stay with us. Cindy, what'd you find? Do you need a hand? You need a hand with that? Ram, ram, ram. <laughs> All right, it's not a motorcycle. It's just a bicycle <laughs> handlebar, for God's sake. <laughs> what a speed demon. That's pretty cool. I, I honestly, I got to say, I've never I've never found a bicycle handlebar. Very good for you. It's on your bucket That's list That's awesome. Now. That's on my bucket list, yeah. You beat me to it. I've never found one. <laughs> awesome. All right. Good job on the KG. Yeah, that was all right. And I, I told you I found a... Uh, a nice uh, smoking uh, uh, mercury dime up there too. Oh wow! And a wheat. I got a wheat, oh, but you weren't looking at me. I was trying to give you the wheat sign, and you weren't looking, so I just said, "Ah, oh, whatever." Weedy boy and a silver. King. I am not. And a copper king. Wow. Yeah, whatever. I can't beat you today. Nah. Well, I'm doing good. I, that spot has been good to me so far up there. I'm up, up top of that field. Um, yeah. Well, they're still in here, though. I, the, you know, the, the mercury and uh, and the weedy tells me there's there's uh, some old silver in here. You know, maybe more recent, but older silver. So good job. Let's keep going. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I just found another little button. At least I think that's what it is. Came up really nice. Tiny button. I'll look at this later. All right, let's keep going. All right, well that's a ring. That's a big one. All right, let's keep going. All right guys, well my next target that I got is a button. You can see the shank all mushed over. Just a flat button, but a nice little button. I'll take that one and I'll put it in the button drawer. There you go. It's funny, uh, I just dug that button and Cindy comes over at the same time. She says okay. she has a button. Look how tiny this one was. I have found about two or three of those today. This size? With no shank, yes. Oh, I got a shank on mine. Looks yeah, like yeah, mine don't. They do not have shanks on them. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. Did that come up nice? Mine came up pretty nice. Like it didn't come up like a button, a little higher than a button. No, mine was like a shotgun shell. Hmm. Okay. So. All right. Cool. Good, a lot of good cool. stuff out here. 